Hey guys, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. This is going to be a review for a movie I've been looking forward to for a while. James Samuels, The Harder They Fall. This is an interesting and kick-ass western. And the thing that makes it most interesting is it does focus on some very notable African-American figures in Wild West history. Now, we've gotten tons, and I do mean tons of westerns with the likes of Wyatt Earp and Bill Cody and Jesse James, but to my knowledge, there hasn't been that many movies kind of focused on African-American figures in the West. And it's a shame because there are so many from the likes of Nat Love to Stagecoach Mary to Rufus Buck. There is so many characters. Bass Reeves. Bass Reeves is probably the one I know the most about. But there's an absolute catalogue of so many iconic individuals from the West of African American heritage. And nothing has ever been done with them. Nothing has ever been kind of made into a, a proper movie. And the director James Samuels has decided to tackle this. Now the start of the movie says while the events in this movie are fictional, the characters are real. So he does he does take liberties, but he's using prominent figures from African American Western history. Again, like the likes of uh, Mary Fields, Cherokee Bill, Bass Reeves, all these characters are implemented into a very nice and tight plot that focuses around uh, the the character of uh, Nat Love, played by Jonathan Majors. You might know Jonathan Majors. He's playing Khan the Conqueror in the next Ant-Man movie, and he also turned up, if I'm not mistaken, in Loki. Essentially, it's like any kind of good old-school Western. It's a revenge tale that sees Nat Love going after the man who killed his parents, Rufus Buck, played amazingly by Idris Elba. And he his gang decides to essentially kind of screw with Buck's gang in order to lure him out in the open and take him on. The cast in this is phenomenal. Uh, it, it's absolutely badass. I mean, again, you have Jonathan Majors as Nat Love. You have Idris Elba as Rufus Buck. You have Zazie Beetz as Stagecoach Mary. You have uh, Regina King as Treacherous Trudy. Uh, Delroy Lindo as uh, Bass Reeves. Again, the, the, these all these characters are iconic from Western history, but because because essentially because they're black, they're never really brought up or they're, they're, they're never really part of the Western zeitgeist. And essentially, uh, James Samuel has done that. He's brought these characters to life in, in a very heightened reality. And people might be like, oh, this, this film is too stylized. Well, I ask you this. Have you ever seen a Sergio Leone Western? They were incredibly stylized. There was nothing... There was nothing real or grounded about, say, the good, the bad, or the ugly, or a fistful of dollars. These were larger-than-life characters, and it's the same with this. And again, it, it's the, the the characters are memorable. You, you you remember a lot of these characters. I loved the movies like Tombstone and stuff, but there's very few of those characters I can remember. I remember Nat Love. I I I remember Rufus Buck. I remember Regina King's Treacherous Judy. They all have distinct character types and they're they're all badass. And that that's the cool thing. These these characters, I still am shocked that we haven't gotten like more movies, Western movies with characters of uh, African American heritage in a Western. Uh, we we got Posse ages back but that, that wasn't really that good this movie improves on upon that like tenfold it, it's it's so good it's shot so dynamic you can tell that james samuel loves westerns that the opening scene uh is is, is very much reminiscent of uh say john ford uh the searchers with this wide open shot of a uh, homestead and then when uh, uh, some characters enter the homestead uh, and it's a very sinister tense moment it's very reminiscent of the opening to once upon a time in the west 
where a family are massacred again that vibe he captures that vibe so well and it's just it's so so well shot and scored the music as well it is accompanied by a fantastic score and there is a soundtrack to go with that as well a, a contemporary soundtrack which i will get to in a moment but the score is just it's so beautiful and it works so well to the situation and the characters and i i think it is uh dare i say uh very much kind of so there is elements of morricone in some of the tracks it does have contemporary music and one could turn around and go well this that's that's just stupid why is there contemporary music in a western well because it suits it because it's badass because these characters the their, their personalities this and 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 the kind of the vibe and feel of the movie that soundtrack works it, it works these 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 are interesting characters and you, you got interesting characters you're gonna have some interest in music with it and if if you are into kind of hip-hop and r&b this is possibly a soundtrack for you as well on on the action front the action is cool there is some absolutely kick-ass kind of um shootouts and gunplay uh i i think this is probably some of the coolest kind of uh wild west shootouts i've seen in ages and it, it, again it's stylized it's very much stylized some of the fights and some of the 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 combat is is hyper hyper real uh whereas if you look at the like of the likes of uh hostiles or bone tomahawk it's it's very more real world based instantaneous death or real world based kind of um dare i say carnage this is this is completely bombastic uh the one scene in particular where a a kind of coach full of money explodes is is a standout and another standout is the fight between uh, Regina King's uh, treacherous Judy and stagecoach Mary played by Zazie Beetz that it's a drawn out kind of brawl which which suits both characters down to the ground uh, character wise uh, I, I the, the actors are fantastic I, I'm I'm going to circle back around um, Jonathan Majors a lot of pathos, a lot of charisma. This this really likable kind of roguish hero, who, while he does kind of skirt uh, above the law, there is kind of a nobility to him. You have Edris Elba's Rufus Buck, who is um, just like a shark. He's just you've got this kind of real calm, kind of still kind of character who can just turn on the flip of a dime. Uh, Zazzy Beats is uh, really engaging uh, and likable as uh, Stagecoach Mary, the, the, the kind of foil uh, for Nat Love's affection. And uh, she she's this very sassy lady who runs a, a, a bunch of saloons. In, in real life, she was actually a, a stagecoach driver, well into her 60s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but, but this character is a, a very kind of sassy lady who doesn't take shit and she's kind of she kind of decides uh herself and Nat have had an on and off relationship and she decides I am going to help Nat kind of get his revenge but after this uh I'm done because the guy the guy is just he's 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 too kind of flighty. Uh but the standout for me the standout for me in this movie is Regina King as treacherous Trudy. Just this character oozes badass him. she is and again if you've seen regina king in say watchmen you know this is an actress who 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 can sell a, a really tough and really capable individual and she does it so well but there is there's depth to that character she's not just going around like grunting and growling and stuff she is a a, a, a kind of a very a very kind of um solid character as well there, there's a moment where she is kind of threatening zazzy beats character and she's talking about her sister and how her sister was sick when she was younger and as she's doing it she's peeling an apple and there's just you again it's one of those it's one of those great scenes where you're being told a story and you can visual you can visualize it so easily 
uh, again, the characters in this are so memorable. Uh, uh, Delroy Lindo, awesome, awesome. You you feel that Delroy, Delroy Lindo could have been cut from the same cloth as, say, the likes of uh, uh, Woody Strode, uh, another great African-American actor who starred in a, a lot of uh, uh, great westerns. He has a presence and an authority to him that you could say, yeah, this is Bass Reeves. There, there, there's no two ways about it. I I, I thoroughly enjoyed this uh, movie. And I know there are going to be people out there who are going to be kind of scratching their heads going, what the fuck is this all about? And what, I, I will say for you, first and foremost, okay, uh, if if you're saying, oh, this is world, world culture at its worst, or oh, this is just a, a Western with like all African American cast, this is trying to appeal to people. Do you know what? Rev up and fuck off. Because this this is a fantastic movie and just goes to show that like there is so much more that can be done uh with the Western genre. And you know, it's not just about like fucking white guys with big mustaches in, in big broad hats. Uh there 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 was so much more. And the fact that you have a kick-ass western where like none of the african-american cast are portrayed as housemaids or slaves they're capable characters in a, a, a kind of familiar setting of the western and they're 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 kind of they're in charge they're they're part of the mythos and and they they're kind of just they're 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 trailing their own kind of uh, story trailblazing their own story with these figures from that time period and uh james samuel he 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 obviously loves the genre he obviously loves leone he obviously loves john houston um as i said before the opening that's kind of an homage to the the kind of the john houston kind of look or the leone look um there, there's even a couple of uh nice musical numbers and people are like who put a musical number in in a western? That's stupid. That's never been done. Watch Rio Bravo. Dean Martin has an entire fucking musical number in that movie. So if Zazie, if Dean Martin can fucking sing about his rifle pony, surely Zazie Beats can sing in her own fucking saloon, which makes a lot more sense. Uh, again, I absolutely adore this movie. If I had any criticism, I would say. There is one too many characters, but they're all memorable. Um, I I think, I think maybe uh, one or two of the characters uh, could be paired back, but but it it doesn't weigh down the plot, and it doesn't it doesn't hinder it. Uh, it's 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 a fantastic cast. I haven't mentioned half of them, but uh, yeah, there there there's there's a great cast. There's a great kind of uh, meta sensibility about the movie as well. Um, that uh, uh, James Samuel has, whereas Nash is forced into robbing a quote unquote white town, and when they get there, the buildings are white. Not only are the people white, but the buildings are white. Uh, the 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 walls of are white. The the boardwalks are white. The bank is white. The hotel, everything is painted white. So we know this is a white town, and I I just like I like that kind of uh, meta meta kind of humor going on. I, again, um. The cast is amazing. Uh, James Samuel, this is his first, uh, I think, uh, feature debut. He's done music videos and stuff like that. But this is his first kind of uh, feature film. And by Christ, the guy knocked it out of the park. Uh, so, yeah, I absolutely adore this movie. It's not going to be for everyone. I think if you're expecting the likes of Kevin Costner's Wyatt Earp, you're going to be seriously disappointed. Uh, this is an incredibly stylized western movie um but it works so well in that regard again it's 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 something reminiscent of leone's movies with these kind of larger than life characters and the actors in this uh they do a great job portraying said characters also i want to give a, a big shout out and thanks to lady sasha because i was not 100 percent sure about reviewing this I, I i wasn't sure if i'd have the the wherewithal to do it but uh she kind of gave me some pointers and uh, put me in the 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 right direction pointed me in the right direction with that so uh big thanks to lady sasha for that because again i wasn't sure if 
I would I would have the wherewithal to review this so thanks for that and uh, yeah if you get a chance guys definitely check this out it's currently up on Netflix and it's well worth to watch and if you have watched it let me know what you thought of it and also guys what's your favorite western leave them in the comments below and uh, yeah have a good one. take care oh, bye now